Well, I'm on a fax of Mars, and this is an interesting story about humpback whales and attack other marine animals. Well, they protect other marine animals from killer whales. Now, just so we get this out of the way first, humpback whales are known as baleen whales. They, uh, they basically suck in tons and tons of krill to eat. They strain through something called a baleen in their mouth. And that's how they eat. Killer whales are known as toothed whales, as are dolphins and porpoises, so on. And uh, toothed whales are much smaller in general than baleen whales are. Baleens are the giants of the sea. So when you read this, remember that... Uh, the humpback has a distinct size advantage, to say the least. Anyway, what the researchers have found that these animals will attack killer whales if they see them attacking other a animals. In other words, what the researchers are saying is that these humpback whales are defending other animals, which frankly I don't buy. You have to understand. You have to understand something. In nature, in nature, there are ongoing wars. Uh, the one that is most prevalent in my mind, or the one that I'm most familiar with, is. The war between the raptors and the crows. Raptors and crows hate each other. And it's not a matter of they just fight because they're two different species. They hate each other. I've seen crows chasing... Crows will gang up on a raptor and try to slam them into a post or into a building or something. And the raptors will go into their nests and just kill their babies. It's nasty. Nature is full of warfare. Red and gray squirrels hate each other. Anyway, so one specific humpback Whale appeared to station itself next to the calf. Well, let me start from the beginning. Two humpback whales were already on the scene as killer whales or orcas attacked the grays. Uh, gray whales. But after the calf had been killed, about 14 more humpbacks arrived, seemingly to prevent the orcas from eating the calf. One specific humpback whale appeared to have stationed itself next to the calf, jerked his head, point, head pointing toward it, staying with the body length away, wildly vocalizing and tail slashing every time a killer whale came over to feed. Said Alice Alyssa Schumann Jandiger, whale researcher with California Killer Whale Project. For six and a half hours, humpbacks slashed at killer whales with their flippers and tails. And despite the thick swarms of krill spotted everywhere, a favorite food for the humpbacks, giants did not abandon their vigil. So, what do we have here? We have war, basically. You see, warfare is common in nature, it's just that uh, critters don't have the ability to blow the plant up, and we do. And that is causing concern even, it causes concern among conservatives and liberals alike. Because none of us really wants 
nuclear bomb falling on our heads. Anyway, the most logical biological explanation for the humpback's vigilante-like behavior is that the whales receive some sort of benefit from interfering with orca hunts. For instance, orcas are known to attack humpbacks, and the whales are most vulnerable when they are young. Once fully grown, though, a single humpback is large enough to take on an entire pod of killer whales. Remember, I said these are baleen whales, and they're much bigger than orcas. So perhaps rescuing behavior is involved in this way. There's that word again to help species get through the weakest life stage with humpbacks charging in when they think a young whale is at risk. There's also a good chance that the calf under attack is related to the whales coming to the rescue. Because humpback calves tend to return to the feeding and breeding grounds of their mothers, humpbacks in a given area tend to be more related to neighboring humpbacks and the population as a whole, said study leader Robert Pittman, a NOAA marine ecologist and National Ge Geographic Society grant recipient. I'm going to say again, this could be just plain hatred by the uh, humpbacks. It's, it's war out there. It's war in nature. It's not like a Disney cartoon where everybody's friendly towards everybody. It doesn't happen. I don't know. This is the first I've heard of it. The story's getting some attention, so I thought I'd mention it. But that's nature for you. It's kill or be kill out there. That's the way it is. You have to eat something in order to eat. You have to kill something in order to eat. Most animals do. They're scavengers and they have to wait for something to die, but. Most animals have to kill something in order to eat, even if it's just a plant. Humans kill a lot in order to eat. That's the way it is. Anyway, interesting story. I wanted to get away from politics a little bit. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.